Hi everyone, Liz here. Thanks for stopping by. So today I'm going to do the second part of my fan cells unbagging. So we still have quite a few left in here. So let's get that big one first that's stuck there. And this one, oh, that's the big one. So we'll get that one later. We'll take that one there. We'll have that one there. And which is the biggest? Oh, that's a big one, so we'll have a small one from the front there. And we'll leave those three for the next one. Okay, so which one shall we do first? Let's do the biggie first. Get the biggie out the way. Okay, where's my scissors gone? You'd think I'd be prepared after doing all these unboxings, wouldn't you? <laughs> okay, so let's get in and have a look. Oh, wow. Okay, that's that one. This looks nice colours. It's come folded the other way, this one. How strange. Uh, quite a thick canvas, that one. And it's butterflies. And it's a special drill. All special drills. Ooh, basic toolkit there. We've got the pen, the wax and the boat. Uh, enough to do your project. Ooh, look some good ones in there. Put them out the way a moment. Okay, so we have two very, very... Pretty butterflies in pinks and lilacs. Oh, definitely my colour palette, aren't they? And then we've got like the bluey, purpley, whitey colours uh, in the background. Very similar, actually. Um, the background's very similar to my unboxing I did of my dandelion clocks, if you saw that one. So we've got 10 different colours on this one, 10 different gems. Nice clear symbols. Let's just flatten this down. This is a very, very stiff canvas. This one, just flatten down the plastic. This is what's called a partial. Basically, that just means that the background is pre printed, there's no diamonds or anything go on there, but then this part here is sticky. So your gems will just stick on to there. So it is just literally the butterflies that will have all nice and sparkle. So the background will fade into the distance and you'll just have this pop of colour. And I like the fact we're starting to get a little bit more sunshine at the moment. Um, we did actually see the sun yesterday. I was a little bit scared because I thought, what on earth is that in the sky? And I thought, oh yeah, it's the sun. It's such a long time since we've seen it. But yeah, once they sort of catch the light as you walk past these pictures, just the sparkle, just really, really pretty. Okay, look at those. So we've got more of a pinky one and then more of a purpley aqua one. Oh, wow, these are going to look great. So let's have a look at these gems. Yeah. Ooh. Right, I can see an A, B for starters, very, very sparkly. So that's like your, that's your blue. It's fairly standard in a, a lot of uh, your special diamond paintings. Tends to be an edge, but I don't know whether it is on this one. Let me have a look. Number one. Let's see if we can see there that one goes. Yeah, it is. The butterflies, I don't know if you can see, that's the number one symbol there, which is like the little um half square and it literally is the whole of the butterflies both of them are edged in that symbol in that color so it just gives you that little bit of a border as it were to keep the rest of the colors in and yeah it's very very pretty that one i do like that one okay we've got a very sort of a palish pink and a lovely cherry red color and then your purple, are they both the same one? Yeah, they're both uh, number five, so they're both, are they number five, number four? No, no, they are slightly different shades. That one is slightly darker than that one. Oh, look at that, that's a real sea aqua greeny colour. And we've got your little, I've had these before, your little rounds that have got like an AB coating. AB is Aurora Borealis, which is like aurora borealis is actually northern lights which is where you get the different color refractions um through light passing through the colors a little bit like a rainbow or but these give more sort of an oil on water effect um but yeah they've got like a star stamped in them 
Then we've got some larger ones with the star stamped in as well. These are like a silvery colour. And oh, look, all ABs. And then these are a teardrop, which are like a purple AB. Wow, look at that sparkle on those. Get like reds and greens. So that's as you're passing these kind of pictures, you just get that pop of colour. And then yeah, these haven't got a coating, these are just like a, a reddy, dark, pinky colour. Uh, not quite hot pink, but not far off. So yeah, and those are the big ones which are going to go. Number 10 is the green one. So oh, oh look, we only need two and the centers for yay! <laughs> I like extras, I don't like my spares. Okay, so I'm gonna pop that one back away. So that's number one. Have a look at the next one. Okay, it's exciting this. How to make a fed up January a little bit more exciting. Open your parcels that we've had since before Christmas. <laughs> it's a surprise to me as it is to you. Okay. Sorry, I always look down the tube to make sure there's nothing else in there. So let's have a look at this one. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Yes. Yes, this is my uh, matching pair one. Uh, if you saw my number one unboxing, you will have seen my electric guitar that I got. Well, this one is the, um, I don't know what you call it, guitar, manual guitar, non-electric guitar. But uh, yeah, this is sort of like the, the wooden one, the wooden case ones. Uh, oh yeah, and it's got records as well. Okay, so uh, we've got basic toolkit and it's come with those, uh, yeah, tweezers, plastic tweezers. Mm, okay, yeah, it's enough to do your project. I've never used the tweezers. And lots of gems. So let's see if we can just flatten this one out a little bit. Just thought these were so different. And just a, oh, look. Look, don't roll up on yourself. Do not roll up on yourself. Oh, that could have been disastrous if that colour would have stuck to itself there. Oh, dear me. Getting a little bit stiffer canvas. Well, that edge over slightly. They're very, very pretty flowers on these. But quite nostalgic with the records. I'm sure if I showed my granddaughters a record, they possibly wouldn't know what they were. Probably think they were coasters or something or placemats for the table. <laughs> Albeit there has been quite a revival on vinyl records. Um, I don't know whether they have been uh, if you're in a different country to the UK. But certainly here in the UK, even one of our supermarkets on the racks where they were selling CDs and DVDs and things actually had some vinyl records. Wow. There is a definite sound to a vinyl record. Very, very different from uh, listening to them digitally. Okay, so we have just got one teeny tiny legend at the top there, which we've got 11 different uh, gems and colours. This one is completely edged all the way around with the number, oh gosh, what is that? What does that say? I think that's number 10, but I will have to get my uh, magnifying glass out to have a look. But yeah, we've even got wine glasses here, look, and some music. And unlike the other one that had more of a white background, this has got like a pale, it's a little bit sort of hessy, hessy on your looking background on this one. So it will be edging the whole of the let's put it that way so you can see it we'll be edging the whole of the uh, frame in one background and then none of the background here oops i just lift that up a bit it's a partial again so none of this background here is diamond painted or this bit here so anywhere that has uh, got your guide circles on will be sticky and that will be where you put your gems anywhere where there's no guide circles although it's a little bit it does look like it's nearly diamond painted the background, isn't it? No, not quite on this one. Okay. But yeah, just thought that was very different to do. What size does this one say? Ah, this one does actually say 30 by 60. Um, the other one did say 30 by 40. <laughs> 
so I'm expecting the actual picture to be about 55 by 25 so let's just double check yep so it's about 24 and a half centimeters 21 and a half inches by Twenty-five centimeters, which is nine and three quarter inches. So yeah, you just lose that edge as normal um, for a poured glue canvas. Okay, let's have a look at these gems. Right. So we'll start at this end. Um, ooh, that one looks a bit strange. That one sort of folded in on itself. There, the packet's folded in, and the gems folded in on itself okay so we've got some large blue faceted there some lovely gold very yellowy goldy gold shall we say and we've got a bit of purple in this one as well plain silver lovely palish aqua blue a nice browny color there a bit brighter blue oh a lovely racing car green Lots of your 310 black. I would think that will be on the vinyl records. A bit more yellowy gold there. And a uh, red. So not as many gems on this one. So just 11. But, uh, yeah, I'm quite looking forward to doing these. I think they'll look quite smart um, as a pair together. Or possibly uh, separately. Just If you've just got that little space. Just that needs a bit brightening up. It will just look really cute sat there. Okay. Right. So put that one on the one side. And on to number three. So let's see what's in this one. Mm. Quite tightly packed these. I don't want to nick the canvas at all. I'll put a hole in any of the gem bags because you know what I'm like with spilling. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, right. Okay, this one looks quite uh, jazzy. So let's see, let's see. Again, quite a stiff. Oh, oh yes. Quite a stiff canvas. This is like um, an abstract one that I've got. Looking at it now, I think it's supposed to be an eye. But, uh, yeah, I didn't know it was an eye when I ordered it. I did just think it was like a swirl. But I just loved the colours and I quite fancied having a go at doing that. I think I must have been having a dark day when I added this to my basket because I need some colour. So, again, same toolkit, but wax and pen. Wow. And this is a full drill, so the whole of the canvas is covered. We have 20 colours and a key code at both sides. And look how big those letters are. I can read those. They're all fab. Um, I think you can see the drill field on this is uh, very clear. You can see all of the letters on there. I don't think I'm going to have any trouble doing this one. I can just flatten this plastic out, which will help flatten the canvas. Yeah, just thought, oh, there's quite a big crease in this canvas there. Wow, that's unusual for poured glue. Let me just see if we can get that out a little bit. It must be as it's been packed around the jerk trip, as it's been packed around the drills. Let's just try and flatten that out. I mean, it will flatten because it, I'll be putting it uh, straight um, in my folder, and there are quite a few in that folder, so the weight of them does tend to flatten everybody out that's in there. Okay, that's just given that a little bit of a flatten. Yeah, it's starting to flatten down there. Let me just grab a trace if I can. Should have had a straightener up here, shouldn't I? So I can do this. Just uh... yeah, that's doing it. Okay, it's a long while since I've had a big crease on a poured glue canvas like that. I think you can see that here. Yeah, you can see. Uh, the trouble is with the creases, if you don't have a flat canvas, when you start putting your gems on, then you find that your gems aren't going to lie flat. They're not going to be all in nice rows and lines. Um, it just makes it that a little bit harder to do, and they can then start popping up. So I'm going to leave this one 
out you can iron your canvases um, on a very cool iron to get creases out but that is quite a bad one that's quite a shame it's the first time say in a long time that i've had one that's looked like that See, if that was um, a double-sided tape canvas, if you can see there, you can just about see that ridge there. If that was double-sided tape, then where it was actually folded, the tape would have come away from the canvas underneath. And what you would have to do is score that uh, to make the uh, double-sided tape on top go flat. But because this is hard glue, the glue is directly onto the canvas so that it's not lifted up. There's no way to actually flatten that down other than just pressing and keeping it nice and flat so that it eventually flattens out. I think it's just where the cover sheet has made it rook up that little bit as it's been transported. It's come a very long way, this canvas. It's had a lot of travels. So we will just flatten that down. As I say, um, it should, well, it will. I know it will. It will flatten down. You can see it is starting to flatten already. I'm not bothered about this bit here because this is just the edge. But I just want to make sure that when I get this diamond paint that it does stay flat. So I'll keep an eye on that one. I'll maybe put that one separate and then I'll keep an eye and make sure that that does flatten. If I do need to iron it, I will let you see the ironing video although there are quite a few other creators have done videos on how to iron and flatten canvases okay so we have like um a swirl going all the way around so that it swirls out from the out uh, from the middle to the outside all in different rainbow colors um so i just fell in love with the colors i just needed a bit of brightness in my life Look at that, it's got my lime green on it there as well. I'm hot pink, whoa. Great canvas, great canvas. Okay, time for these drills. And these are just all your, ooh, we've got my scapey. Got my scapey just in that corner. These are just your standard acrylic drills. So there's no specials or anything in this. If you did want to jazz it up a little bit more, maybe in the centre of the eye, put some crystals, even crystal gems or some AB Aurora Borealis gems, it would just pop that a little bit more. But I'll see how this one goes. So 20 colours. Um, we've got... Oh no, there's no DMC codes. I was going to say there's DMC codes, but there isn't. So no DMC codes. Uh, just get rid of that bit of dirt there. I don't know where that's come from. Uh, there's no DMC codes on the canvas or the bags. Oh, and that's a shame because they're very pretty colours. So we have a lovely burgundy colour and like a tinned pea green. Uh, we're back on field again. And a lovely purple and a rusty brown and a very dark green and a darker purple colour. And a lovely vibrant orange you ready colour. And goodness me, there's a lot of those oranges in with that green. So they've had a real party, haven't they? And you see all those that have escaped into there. <laughs> and oh gosh, and then the greens have escaped into the blues. So there's been quite a bit of swapping going on between those three colours, I'll have you know. Uh, another burgundy colour. And I like a cherry red colour. And a darker blue. And a very racing card, that green there. And another orangey colour. It's going to be lots of shades in this. It's going to have quite a bit of depth to the colour. And the blue. And like a salmony pink. And an almost hot pink. It's not really hot pink, is it? Oh, well, we'll say it's hot pink. We'll say it's hot pink. And oh, look, there, the greens must be having a really good time. Because all these colours seem to want to get into the greens. There's quite a few of the hot pinks gone in there. And then a couple of blues, which was like an aqua one at the end. Okay, so other than having a big crease, quite happy with that one. But I'm sure I can sort that crease out. It's not going to uh, spoil my enjoyment. Put those back in there. Okay. Have a look at the next one. Okay, and the last one for this video. 
Oh, look, this one's been opening itself. It's tried escaping all on its own. Oh, look. Ooh. Oh, oh. Yeah, this one's been opened, look. So let's just see if we can get that sellotape off there. Okay. I'd be no good at packing. I'd have to keep opening the parcels to make sure I'd done the right one. I'd be frightened to death that I'd sent somebody the wrong parcel. Oh, and we have more colour. Oh, 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 oh. okay. Uh, basic toolkit again, pen, book and wax. And this one's a full drill with just your acrylic gems. We'll have a look at those in a second. Well, look at this one. Oh, it's only a little picture. Oh. oh, let's just see if we can flatten it out. I think we're going to have trouble reading the words though on this. I've gone a little bit small. Um, it should be a 30 by 30, I think. But, uh, this is looking more like about a 20, some, well, probably a 23 or a 24. It's a very big border on it. Oh, and no DMC cards again. Is there any on the gem drills? No, so no DMC cards. So this says, love who? Oh, love who you are. Oh, who? <laughs> Did you know that when owls go twit to woo, that it's actually two owls and it's one that goes to wit and it's one that goes to woo, replying to it? There you are, just a little bit of knowledge there. So there's 19 colours in this little teeny picture. Goodness me. I'm going to have to watch this writing though because there's quite a lot of colours on it and whether it'll show up. Um, this down the bottom because it's cursive writing. I mean the who will show up there. Ooh. But I'm not sure about the you all. Well, it's owl all. Love who... Oh, no, but you love who you are. So it's the R there that doesn't quite show up. I can't even read now. I've only just said that, haven't I? So the picture is actually, oh, goodness, it's smaller than I thought. 22 and a half centimetres, which is just under nine inches. Wow, it is a little one. Bye. Oh, no, it's 23 that way. So it's a little bit bigger that way than it is the other, which is nine inches. Okay. But that is such a cute little picture. Oh, love who you are. Oh, look at those owls. Look at that one little teeny tiny owl there. But again, yeah, I definitely, I think December, um, I think, I, well, I think I put this order in um, as Hubby was getting poorly again. So I think I just needed some colour. And it was a very dark, dismal December, wasn't it? So let's have a look at these colours. 19 colours on a little teeny tiny painting. No DMC cards. That's a real shame. Um, I mean, if you can sit and match them up, if you've got, say, a colour card with all the DMC numbers on, um, or you can sit and, you know, match your colours up as you say, decutting another one or something. But uh, to be honest, I just don't want to anymore. So we've got a purple there and a yellow and a little bit aqua blue. And a pale mauvey violet colour. And that lovely greeny colour, pale green. And like a magenta type of colour. And lovely orange and like a buttermilk yellowy colour. And a purpley blue. And another one that's just slightly darker. And your pale blue there. A very orangey. Who's hunt pink in it? And a pink. And that lovely fabric green and standard green there and another three blues with your aqua and then that looks like a 3865 to me which is like your off-white colour okay that's a, it's a shame that they've not got the dmc codes i have to say i do prefer so that i can deep it and put my gems away if you don't keep the gems keep your gems then obviously it won't matter to you but uh, to anybody that does i don't like my dmc cards so this little haul we have had a teeny tiny owl a big spirally eye it's 
some very cute special real butterflies and a guitar oh i love the guitar i'm torn actually i do like them all because they're all lovely bright colors okay well that's part two completed so i hope you've enjoyed seeing these with me if you have a thumbs up it's always much appreciated and if you do want to come back and see part three then if you press that subscribe button and the little bell next to it it'll let you know when my next videos come out so thanks ever so much for joining me and stopping by and i hope to see you all again soon bye for now